good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition figure review on the brand new Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure that I swear to God we've been waiting on absolutely forever. It has been forever. You guys remember back, I think it was like 2015. I'm pretty sure it was 2015. They released the proto image or the render image of the Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure that we thought we were going to be getting. I think it was supposed to be a Defining Moments figure. Hulk Hogan ended up getting released from the company. You know, they wanted to blackball him from the company. So we never got that figure. Figure got canceled. A lot of people were very disappointed with that because they really wanted a Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Well, fast forward years later, guys, and we finally got images of it, and we finally have it in our hands right now. And the Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition is here. Great stuff going on with this. I've been waiting on this figure for a long time, and it is Ultimate Edition. We don't have to worry about Elite Man. This is an Ultimate Edition, so we're going to get double jointed arms. We're going to get the nice accessories. I can't wait to dive into this thing. You guys can see the front viewing window right here. If you guys would like to grab this, I I think it's in stock right now. You'll have to double check, but I know this is probably going to be one of the most highly sought after Ultimate Editions ever. You can go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. But here's the front viewing window. Hollywood Hulk Hogan up here. Front viewing window with the guy here. Ultimate Edition logo down here. On the side, you got an image of Hollywood Hulk Hogan. On the back, you get a product image as well as an image of Hollywood Hulk Hogan right there. Got a little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Some little bio over here. Hollywood Hulk Hogan here. Hollywood Hulk Hogan there. Hollywood Hulk Hogan there. Hollywood Hulk Hogan there. Hollywood Hulk Hogan there. Ho but now that we've dived into the package, guys, let's go ahead and crack Hulk Hogan out of his packaging. So here's the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan out of the packaging, guys. Liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm actually quite impressed with some stuff, and I can't wait to dive into it and show you guys exactly what this guy is all about. But how we're going to do this is we are going to start off with his accessories. He does come with a ton of accessories, so we're going to get into his accessories first, showcase how all those work, how they look with the figure and all of that good stuff. Then we'll dive into the figure itself, how it articulates all of that good stuff. You know, this new butterfly joint articulation technology that we got going on on these new Mattel figures. And then we will get into some comparisons. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into these accessories and cover every single thing you are going to get with this Hollywood Hulk Hogan edition action figure. So getting into Hollywood Hulk Hogan's accessories, guys, starting out first, I guess we can just start off with his cloth accessories. So we do get this sleeveless NWO t-shirt, which looks really, really good. And one thing you guys will notice immediately is that it does rip in the front. So you guys can do the iconic rip the shirt off as uh, Hulk Hogan would do. So you can rip this in half and it does Velcro back together so you can do your poses where he's ripping it in half or you can chill where it's you know all lined up the only thing is you do have to get it right online because if you don't get it right online the logo will look a bit wonky and so you do want to get that in line um i guess if you didn't want it to be like this i guess you'd have to get a cloth t-shirt or something because i don't re recall us ever getting a cloth shirt like this from mattel in the nwo but on the back he does have his iconic cuts that he used to put in his shirt as well so that is a really nice detail and it's really impressive that the factory can even get all of those tears like that so if you guys want to see what that looks like on the figure. I will go ahead and put this on the figure, and I guess we can just kind of build it up and see. As I cover the accessory, I'll put it on the figure, and then we'll see what he looks like at the end. I have zero complaints about this. I mean, it fits the figure really, really snug. It looks really good on the figure, so that is that is top-notch stuff right there. You love to see that. Now, outside of the t-shirt, guys, we also get his weight belt, and it does have the NW logo here, and I think DFreedom30 on Instagram pointed out why it's this exact text, and it's not, you know, some of his other belts that he's worn, but I think this is, this is accurate to a certain moment and they just went with this one for whatever reason but it does have the NWO on there. It's a nice belt. It, it, I think this is very similar to the same sculpt we used to get on our Hollywood or on our other Hulk Hogan figures that we've seen. So the Hall of Fame figure and other figures like that that we've gotten with the weight belt from Hogan I think this will fit in nicely there. So it clips together like that just like any championship belt and you can wrap it around the waist here and you will buckle it right there. So you wrap it around and then just buckle it in the front like you would any other championship. So there's the back of the figure with the NWO belt on there and it fits really snug like it feels really good man it, it seems like they didn't leave any stone unturned with this figure and it's coming across in the quality of this thing so with ultimate edition guys you guys know that they usually come with three head sculpts or so starting out with the first one guys we do have the smiling head sculpt and i think it looks really really good i'm liking the skin tone on this guy i like the blonde hair there is a little bit of blonde seeping through on the beard right there but hollywood hulk hogan used to have the blonde mustache with the darker beard underneath with his blonde hair and it's just an iconic look man when you look at this i just 
just get super nostalgic about this figure. And my God, it's just so nice to see. I think it looks identical to Hogan, really. Those light blue eyes. You got the gray skin tone. The lightness is totally there. And the bandana fits on it perfectly. So if you guys wanted to see what this looks like, it fits on there nice. I mean, maybe it could go down a size, but I think it fits well. It goes over the ears nice. And oh man, I mean, that is that is perfect. You got the Hollywood printed on the front there. Not only do you get the smiling head sculpt, guys, you also get the straight face or the pissed off head sculpt, which looks really good. He's looking slightly off to the left, it looks like, but the beard color and the hair color is all the same. If you guys wanted to put the bandana on there, it looks good as well. I mean, I think that Mattel did an excellent job on these. So you have the pissed off head sculpt, you have the smiling head sculpt, and then you have the yelling head sculpt, which is probably my favorite. I love the way that looks. Mouth wide open, pissed off, yelling. A little bit of seepage right there on the beard. Not a big deal, though. I think it looks just like Hulk Hogan. Really great job, man. Mattel literally knocked this thing out of the park. This is going to be up there on everyone's countdown for figure of the year for sure. I can already tell with everything we're getting with this. It's just such a piece, man. It, like So many things come with it. It's super iconic. Looks just like him. The bandana fits really nicely. And if you guys wanted to see how you pop these on and off the figure, it's going to go similar to every other Ultimate Edition. But say I got the pissed off head sculpt on here. You pop that on there, you like that, you know, you, you're sick of that for a while, then you're just going to go thumb under the chin, pop it off like that, and then you're just going to take your new head sculpt and just pop it on like so, and pop it on like that, and there you go, it's back to normal there. And then for the final one, you would do the same exact thing. So outside of your three interchangeable head sculpts, guys, again, we did cover the bandana, but you also get the sunglasses, his iconic white sunglasses. And if you wanted to put these on the figure, you'll just slide these over the face like so. Those are upside down, you dumb jackass. So then you would just stick them. So I think to put these sunglasses on better, I think if you put on the bandana first and then put on the sunglasses, I think it'll fit the figure better. And the bandana's falling off. You see, my glasses are not fitting exactly how I'd like. They're kind of wonky. See, they're kind of wonky. They're not fitting like I'd like. Let me try a different head sculpt. So it seems like the glasses fit this head sculpt a little bit better, it seems like, but I'm still not, it's still not hugging or fitting in the right way I would like. But anyways, there is the bandana with the glasses on there, and I still feel like the, I don't know, maybe it's just my glasses got a little warped or something, but there is the glasses on there. It looks pretty good like that. You also get interchangeable hands. So out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands, and then out of the packaging, he includes these gloved hands, which look really good. The sculpture really good. You even got the cuffs on there. You got all the lines sculpted in there. All the stitching and everything. I mean, these gloved hands look really, really good. So you get mic holding hands and fisted hands. We covered the bandana. You also get a white and black boa. And what's kind of, I mean, it works out, but it's kind of like whatever. I feel like if it were cloth, it'd be a lot better, but I still like this. The shape of it looks nice. You get some black dry brushing over the white and everything. It does have it hollowed out in here, so it's not one thick, solid piece of plastic, but putting this over the shoulders of the figure right there, you guys can see that it does fit over the figure good and everything. I'm pretty sure it's the same sculpt we got with the Elite 34 Hogan. I think that was the Elite 34 Hogan, but it looks good on the figure and everything like that, so you don't have to worry about it looking wonky or everything, and he can grab it because of his double-jointed arms and stuff, so that looks pretty good right there. And our last accessory, guys, is going to be the NWO World Heavyweight Championship, and you can already see it has the Scratch WWE logo right there, but I really like this. This is an updated version. Uh, used to, I think the NWO was much darker. It looked a lot more thick, and it wasn't as light and so and realistic as this. So this does look a little bit better in my personal opinion. I think it does look good. If you like the darker version, then I guess you could just stick with your darker version. But I think that the lighter one kind of looks more realistic. It makes it look better. And so you do get the NWO World Championship with this Hulk Hogan. But that pretty much does it for all his accessories. I mean, you get a slew of stuff with this guy, man. I mean, you literally get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of head sculpts. You get the interchangeability. You get the bandana, the glasses. You get everything that Hollywood Hulk Hogan needs to be running wild in your freaking career collection, man. But that does it for his accessories, guys. Let's dive into Hollywood Hulk Hogan himself. So getting into Hollywood Hulk Hogan himself, guys, I am really digging the head sculpt. I know we took a closer look at the head sculpts already, but I am going to say that I do like them a lot. All three of the head sculpts that it comes with, the smiling, the pissed off, and the straight face, or pissed off looking off to the left look really good. I know they look even better when you put the glasses on there, but I think for the true effects technology and everything, the sculpt, the likeness is totally there. Even though we did get a little bleeding on our beard sometimes and on our hair, I still like the way it looks. These skin tone of this guy is really good. You guys know that Hulk Hogan was really dark, and uh, I think it comes across beautifully on the figure. You know, it's slightly darker than that Triple H or Dolph Ziggler skin tone. I think it's the Dolph Ziggler skin tone. It's a little bit uh, a little bit darker than that, I'm pretty sure, but you guys will see here. The torso looks really good. One thing I am going to cover in the next segment is going to be the articulation. I still think it looks good. Like, if you have this guy shirtless, I don't think you're going to be bothered by how it looks. It's not ugly. It's pretty hidden well. Uh, the skin tone looks really good. The double-jointed arms are really beautiful. 
nicely done. Uh, the butterfly joints, which we're going to get into with the articulation, look really good as well. The back of the figure, just the, it seems like they put a lot more time into this figure. It's like the design and everything, how everything came out is, is really impressive so far. You got the white wrist tape, black mic holding hands like we covered. He does have his black tights in here, and he has Hollywood written on the back, which is really clean. One thing I always loved about Hulk Hogan in this era was his attire. I always loved the lightning design. They capture that perfectly with the lightning and the blue coming off the soft contrast of the white. Really looks nice. It doesn't look airbrushed like I probably would have liked, but he's still super duper clean and it looks really good. On his knee pads, he doesn't have the white outlines on the knee pads, which I really would have liked as well. I think it would have made the figure stand out. I think they were supposed to be bike knee pads, but you really can't get that detail. They don't own the rights to the, you know, they'd have to get copywritten for, for the bike logos to be on there. But if you could go a step further, I think it would send this figure over the top to get the white outline knee pads with the bike logos on there. On the boots, he does have his famous, you know, his, his Hulk Hogan portrait with the lightning design with the NWO on there. On the inside, it does say NWO. And I always loved his boots, man. I like the white version as well, but both versions of these boots with the flames and the Hulk Hogan portraits and everything was so iconic for me. And just looking at this is super nostalgic. So seeing all this is really, really nice. I love to see it. And all I need now is an Ultimate Edition stain to go with it, and everything will be perfect in the world. We need a Crow Sting Ultimate Edition, but I don't think we'll ever get that since, you know, uh, Sting's no longer under a Legends deal, I don't think. But overall, man, really, really impressed with the figure. Let's go ahead and do our articulation standpoint. Now, the head sculpt is pretty much the same as every other Mattel. Like, he doesn't really move his head that much. Like, looking down is non-existent and stuff. The torso on this Ultimate Edition is not very good. Like, his ab crunch forward is still not very good. I'd love to see them fix that. The back is a little bit better for sure than the front. The arms are amazing, okay? The double-jointed arms that he's got right here, he can do any pose you need him to do. And the butterfly joints are really nice, man. Like, look at this. He can stretch all the way across his torso and pretty much grab his other shoulder, which is very impressive. And, like, if he's talking here, and, you know, it usually is stuck here, but he can come across even more now to do this. So he can, like, grab the other side of his face with these butterfly joints and these, uh, like, look at the range of motion right here. Like, he can come all the way across and all the way back. So that is absolutely amazing amazing to see. I think if anybody uses this in a pick fed, I would love to see it. Please, God, somebody do that. I really want to see a match with this, like a banger with this with this figure. I, I don't care who does it. I think it would be a banger matchup just simply because of all the articulation this guy has. But the butterfly joints are a must. I think they should continue with those. I know our Ultimate Edition Fiend doesn't have it, but this is really nice. He is on ball joints, so he can do the nice split seats. He can kick forward nicely, double jointed knees, and all that good stuff. You do get the boot rotation. The toe pivot's the same as we've seen, but I really did want to see what those butterfly joints look like, but it does look like they got all the bases covered because uh, this guy is a beast. This Hollywood Hulk Hogan is an absolute beast. So for your WWE Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hulk Hogan comparison, guys, here's the new Ultimate Edition Hogan up next to the Storm Collectibles Hogan, and you guys can just kind of see the, uh, what would it be called? The proportions are a little bit different on this guy. I feel like the Storm Collectibles is a little bit wider, but the Ultimate Edition is actually a little bit taller, and I definitely like the Ultimate Edition better. I just like this better. I like the the attire. I like everything about the moment and everything, but this is still not a bad figure whatsoever, but I don't think it's as good as the Ultimate Edition Mattel over here. So there's your side-by-side -side right there. This is actually the only Elite or Mattel Hulk Hogan that is in my collection. It's probably going to stay that way. I'm just not a big Hulk Hogan fan, I, but I loved Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and it's just so nostalgic for me that I am going to hold on to this, and I'll probably get a couple more if it's possible. Maybe for some different fix-ups, we'll see how that goes, but I don't know. Hulk Hogan's definitely grown on me, but growing up, I just I was not a fan of him. I always felt like he was overrated, but the Hollywood Hulk Hogan version, just gotta love it. Gotta love the Hollywood version of Hulk Hogan, but let's get into some other comparisons, guys. You have Crow Sting here in the defining moments. I think their height does measure up pretty good, and then we have Goldberg over here, and I think all three of these look really good together. I don't think you have any, like, super bad scaling issues or anything. I think they look very sick up next to each other. It's just giving me nostalgia pops just looking at these guys next to each other, and uh, this is just beautiful to see, man. I cannot believe we actually have a Hollywood Hulk Hogan in the flesh in our Mattel collection, and I know a lot of people are going to be flipping out over this figure, man. This thing is a beast. I am definitely a fan of this figure. You love to see it. But I think that about does it for our review of the Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition figure from Mattel, man. This thing is a beast. Overall, if you have a chance to own this figure, guys, whether you find it at retail, whether you have a chance to get it online on eBay, whether you have a chance to get it at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS, when shopping over there, they are doing their Black Friday sale, so go over there and grab stuff. Um, they're probably going to do a Cyber Monday sale as well, but just sit on that, man. You definitely want to get in on all those deals. Use promo code MDTOYS at the end of the day to save an additional 10% on all those epic deals over there, but if you have an opportunity to grab this figure,
figure at any place, anytime, Amazon, whatever the case, definitely go ahead and do so. I don't think this thing's going to be hitting retail, so you may want to grab this thing as soon as you see it up for order online. You're going to have to uh, go ahead and do that, man, because this thing's going to be highly sought after. It's going to be really hard to track down anyways, so if you see it online on Amazon, Ringside Collectibles, eBay, whatever the case, again, you're going to want to grab it because this thing is not going to last and it's going to be gone and you're going to miss out on it. And I don't know how many stocks they're going to do, so you definitely want to get this thing is in as soon as possible because, again, I don't think it's going to retail. But at the end of the day, man, it is a beast of a figure. Again, if you have an opportunity to grab it, you're going to want to do so because it is that good. All the accessories, the articulation, the look of it. If you guys grew up during this era, if you were a fan of Hollywood Hulk Hogan, if you need to upgrade your shelf, I mean, no shelf is complete without Hollywood Hulk Hogan, so you're definitely going to want to grab this guy as soon as possible. And uh, I usually don't put that kind of marquee on a figure unless it's really, really needed in a collection, but this thing is going to be loved by all. I think that anybody who grew up around this era, if you love him or hate him, you're going to really want this figure. Also, if you're a Hollywood Hulk Hogan fan or you're just a Hulk Hogan or NWO fan, I mean, it's a must grab anyways. So there you go. But if you guys would like to grab it again, use promo code MDTOYS over at Ringside Collectibles. Before we get out of here, I am going to give a random shout out to somebody. So let's go ahead and get into the random shout out from yesterday's video. So this shout out goes to XXKobeXX on YouTube. He says, nobody, not a single soul, Brad Scissors, who sharp now, bish, referring to the scissors that cut me wide open yesterday, as you guys can see by my finger here, but huge shout out to Kobe XX there, don't know if you're a Kobe fan or if that's just your name there, but RIP to the to the Mamba, we'll never forget, favorite player of all time, so RIP to Kobe, but a huge shout out to Kobe for that comment on our video from yesterday, yeah, I did get sliced the hell open, but I'm in love with this Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure, guys, I'm about to go the hell off and just pose this man around, and if he shows up on MDT or Vindication, don't be shocked, but thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.